morning everybody it is the beginning of a new vlog it's actually a friday i am on my way to the movies yeah yeah i'm off today and i actually haven't left i've been working from home and i haven't left the house in pretty much three days i've literally not left the house at all so i really needed to just get out today and just do something and one of the things that i wanted to do was actually just go watch a movie i haven't seen a movie in a while um the selection at the movies is not the best we've got blake and and uh ryan we've got deadpool versus wolverine and um what's this Deadpool versus wolverine and eh, it ends with us um i was supposed to watch it ends with us i was invited to a pre-screening uh by jonathan ball publishers and i completely dub double booked myself that day and i was working and i had coaching clients till about seven that evening so i really couldn't go so i opted then not to so I wanted to watch the movie. Uh, truth be told, jokes aside, I do. I wanted to watch the movie until everything came out about it. About Blake, about um, Justin Baldoni, about the drama basically surrounding the movie. And I think because of the drama surrounding the movie, I want to see it even more. <laughs> uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. I could have watched a really long time ago. I just have my reasons why I'm really struggling to watch Deadpool and Wolverine right now. And I have a very funny feeling it's going to come and go and I will not have watched it. But yeah, today is also just really a miniature maintenance day as well. I need to go get my brows threaded. Um, my nails are still fine. I think I'll do them next week go for a bit of a wax do all those those little danguses my hair has been washed and it's wrapped in a it's been washed and conditioned and all of that so it's wrapped nicely in a little so as i was saying circle sir thank you so as i was saying i really do want oh lord have mercy and i want to go up there as I was saying, um, I really do want to uh, change my hair. I'm, I want to do braids. I'm in the middle of all of it, right? I'm at the mall now. But um, I'm in the middle of all of it. But as I was saying, I want to change my hair. I want to do either braids. Oh my gosh, this lighting makes it look like the shadow. Makes it look like I've got a bit of a beard here. I don't. <laughs> But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I do want to change my hair. I can't decide whether I want to do braids or whether I want to cut it again. And this time, instead of the ginger uh, color, do the copper one, which is one that I really like. In actual fact, because I'm at the mall, uh, I need to find a hair supply store or a... Where would I find it? Pip. Inektoi tola elakai. Because there's this copper one by Inecto that I love. And I think I should just have it with me when I go get, if or when I go get my hair cut. Hey, let's go watch a movie. It's been a long, long, long <laughs> week.
Woman, you are amazing. Celebrate your wins as much as you recognize your lows. Never look down on yourself unless you're looking down to adore the gorgeous shoes you're in, literally and figuratively. Every step forward is a step closer to your destiny and don't let anyone pull you back. Women, we need each other. Let's continue supporting each other in every way possible. Women, you are amazing. Keep shining, keep breaking boundaries and stay beautiful. There is no humanity without you. The success of every woman should be an inspiration to another. We're strongest when we cheer each other on. Happy Women's Month, besties. You are capable of greatness. Each one of us holds an incredible power within us. You are clothed in strength and dignity. Every challenge you faced, every barrier you've overcome has shaped you into the woman you are today. Sometimes life might knock you down, but within you lies the power to rise again. Take each step forward with grace and confidence. Don't be hard on yourself. Be generous with the grace you give to yourself. P.S. There's nothing you can't come back from. God's ability to restore is limitless. He has the power to take what is broken and make it whole again. Transforming pain into purpose and loss into renewal. No matter how deep the hurt or how far you've strayed, God's grace can bring healing and restoration. To every woman out there, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to start over. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to change your path. It's okay to say no to anything and anyone that does not serve you. It's okay to have it not all figured out. It's okay. Woman, you are loved, you are valued, and you are treasured beyond measure. Celebrating the strength, wisdom, and resilience of women everywhere. Your impact is immeasurable, and your contributions shape our world. We celebrate you today and every day. Happy Women's Day. Women, love on yourselves. In a world where you're expected to have it all figured out, give yourself grace. Fall short and slip up. Ugly cry, laugh out loud with your weird snort. Let your boobs run loose. Spend a day in pajamas by yourself. Do you, with you, and for you. You might be in your darkest season, but don't let that define where your life is going or who you will end up being. Woman, whatever stage or phase you're in, just know that you are winning. I said this to myself in Jan 24, and I stand by it no matter what. Mwana mwanana, musadi, remember you are enough, and never forget that. Love and light to you. To all the women, never underestimate your power. Trust in God, for he has equipped you with the strength to overcome challenges, the wisdom to make a difference, and the heart to inspire change. Keep shining and never ever doubt your worth. Such a liar. Why are you
Oily et à tout rachem. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Take a skill for something called the Get into this reset. Yeah. I'ma adjust my clock like day, like savings next era. I'm locked and I ain't playing about me. You think I'm acting brand new? This was me before you Ain't nothing to start over Hold me on a new vibe You're blowing my high Gotta recalibrate my sunlight Yeah Reset Ain't nothing to start over Is feeling like a past life. Can't believe I saved your heart to break mine. You could see I shifted shape to fit yours. Can't forget I made the move to move on. PCH to the Potomac River. Take a break, recalibrate, forgive her. Trip the road from Stockton to Stockholm. Hello, friends. <laughs> Ooh, I look so so fresh skin's looking so fresh uh, just a quick update I think this is tonight is where I'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog uh, I am going out it is 20 past 4 and I need to be out of this house in an hour or so uh, wow oh no I'm using the wrong one what am I doing it is 20 past 4. I need to be out in, say, the next hour or so. I have an event to attend. It's a Penguin Random House event. Um, and... <laughs> I'm trying to catch my breath. It's been a hell of a day. It's a Penguin Random House event. And this one I definitely need to attend because a couple of weeks ago on the... Just before the movie It Ends With Us uh, dropped, I think about a few days before it dropped, there was a screening for that movie and that was hosted by Jonathan Ball Publishers and I couldn't go and I was so devastated that I couldn't go. I have since seen the movie. I've been to the movie so I've seen it. Uh, we'll talk about it in the next vlog I guess. There just won't be enough time. There's a couple of things that I want to say on here today just to 
kind of catch you up. So I did see it. Uh, I think it was last week. And it was... <laughs> With all the drama that was happening, I guess the movie itself is... It's not bad. It's not bad. But with all the drama that's been happening surrounding this, psh, you know what? Today, Penguin Random House is hosting an event, and it's another publishing house, okay? And uh, this event is being held in Santon at a spot called The Artistry. Uh, it's like a restaurant, but it's also like a meetup spot, music, you know, uh, performances happen there, all of this. And uh, it is celebrating, all I know is that People who are going to be there, the lazy makoti is going to be there. So if you are somebody who loves you some recipe books and you must have heard of the lazy makoti. So she's going to be there. I think she's hosting it along with Jay something. And they are going to be infusing uh, their food and whatever with um, a marula. I think it's yeah, so they, there was a whole theme uh, for today and the theme is African chic I'll show you what I'll be wearing this is something that I don't think I may have shown it on the channel before but it's like a, a cape slash poncho slash thing that uh, I almost said his real name that, D, that Diesel bought for me uh, when he took a trip uh, to uh, a, a, a certain African country. <laughs> so uh, I've never actually had an opportunity to wear it. And today is quite warm. But because it sits on top and I'll be wearing a bodycon dress uh, below, it's it, it'll be simple enough for me to take it off tonight if I do want to take it off. But I think it represents African chic nicely. I could have worn... My Sichuesh wears and my South African Sutu attire. I do have uh, two skirts and one dress. And I was just like, nah, you know, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna Africanize it. You know, I don't want to South Africanize it, you know? So because I was fortunate enough to have this, I'm going to wear that on top. And then I'm gonna cinch it in with a belt and hopefully it'll look nice. Okay, I call it a cape because it's got a hoodie. And you're gonna see it, it's stunning. It's literally, oh, it's it's beautiful. And because winter is on its way out, this is the only opportunity that I have to wear it. And because my, the nights, uh, last night was a bit chilly. I'm hoping that if we're gonna be sitting in a very airy room, then the poncho will actually come in handy. But it's beautiful. It's a mix of like a mustard color, black and white. My gold, my gold. Uh, woke up feeling really. I I did and said something to myself last night while I was writing. I actually write a lot on pieces of paper in my journals, and then I staple them to staple the pieces of paper to my journals or whatever. So I was writing last night, and I came to a very very. <sighs> difficult yet important decision about certain things that are currently happening in my life right now i think currently for me 2024 has now become the year of learning i've learned a lot about myself about other people um 2024 has not been the happiest year for me i've been sad for quite a while and uh i've just had to 2024 also taught me that you can be sad, you can be happy, you can be whatever, but life has to go on and you still need to show up for work, for everything. Um, and it's also been the year of learning in the sense that um, with my coaching, I devoted a lot of time to creating social media reels content for my coaching platform as well. So it's been really busy and I think this is the foundation year. I genuinely feel like next year will be, you know, chitty chitty bang bang, let's go uh, for me, 2025, in terms of my coaching, speaking engagements, stuff, what, what. I also realize that I do also want to go back to school next year. So I do, I want to actually study to become a qualified psychologist. 
So that's going to be a lot. Uh, and it's not just a one year course or a two years, like that's three full years of my life that I'll be studying, but it will be distance studying uh, because I, just, I still do need to work. I still do need to work. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. I do really want to go back to school uh, and study to be a qualified psychologist because I feel like that's what I'm called to. I really enjoy the coaching. I love helping people. I love helping people discover more about themselves. I don't only just love making people laugh, which is what I do a lot on here, but the other part of me loves to make people um, help them, you know, and be their accountability person and the person that they come and talk to and all of that. I love to do that. I do. Um, so it's been, it's been a hell of a year. It's been really difficult. I'm not going to sit here and act like um, it's been an easy year for me emotionally. No, it hasn't. It's been a very, very difficult year where I I thought when I entered, no, not when I entered the year. When I, when I entered the year, I already had some sort of indication that it was going to be difficult in the emotional aspect of things. But uh, I never thought it would be difficult lasting this long as well. Um, I had a lot of healing to do, a lot of growing and growing up to do with certain ways in which I try to convince myself that, you know, I'm going to be okay, it's fine, uh, that it actually makes me avoid uh, making certain decisions and sticking by them. <sighs> I'm not a sticker by a decision. Okay, look, this is not TikTok. I'm not going to sit here and say um, that... No, you'll be fine. Do this, whatever. No. Okay. You guys, I think I know. I think you know what I'm talking about. Relationships hurt. Breakups hurt. And I've been hurting for a long time now. And it's only my close friends and my family who have gotten to see that side of me. Uh, on here, I keep it cute. Uh, apparently demure as well. I don't know. Cutesy. I don't know <laughs> the things that trend on TikTok. Um, but it doesn't make it any better. Uh, but while all of that was happening, God was fixing me. Hey, fixing me. So this morning when I woke up, I felt a huge sense of, of calm. A huge sense of calm over me. It felt like God had his hand on my shoulder. And God was saying, I got you with this. Relax. You know? Uh, with a lot of other things. Because there are other things that I stress about. I just don't talk about them on my channel. But there are other things that I do stress about. But this morning, I woke up with this wave of, it's okay. You know? It's okay. Um, I made some big decisions while I was sitting in my room last night and just thinking and talking to God, praying, you know what I'm saying? I made some huge decisions that I was afraid to make, but I think I had to, you know, I had to own up to some things and um, I did. So this time... You know, as much as we can say that there's no time to do whatever, but also be gracious with yourself to know that there is time. There is time to turn it all around. There is time for uh, love, for new starts, new beginnings. There is time for even, you know, for, for your home situation to turn around. There is time for your work situation to turn around. Don't give up. Never, ever, 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 ever give up on you or, for, or give up on what you want. So never just give up on you. Always bet on yourself. Always feel and believe that things, things are going to change. I've found myself having to fight for myself in many, many aspects of my life. My family life, in my relationship in life, in my career life. I had to fight for myself. I had to fight for my career. I had to fight. I had to fight. Oh, my life. I had to fight. <laughs> so we can, we can fight for other people. Sure. All the time. We can. But if we're not fighting for ourselves first, 
then who's gonna fight for us? Right? So that's what I've decided. I've decided to take the bull by the horns and fight for myself. And it's not the easiest decision that I've had to make, but uh, sometimes you gotta, for the sake of your own peace of mind, sometimes that's exactly what you have to do. It's pretty much it, man. Like I just wanted to offer words of encouragement to say that if you are feeling like you're in a position of heartbreak or distress or any kind of form of hurt or worry for the future, uh, financial worries, uh, all these kinds of worries. If you are in that place, you are not alone. But don't give up on yourself. Oh, please don't give up on yourself. Please, please believe that it's only the time being. Because after, after rain, after a storm, the sun will always shine. It will always shine. And when you know your, how, what you bring to your life, to the table, to those around you, Bet on that. If, if you know what you bring to those around you, why don't you bet on yourself even more? You know what I'm saying? You should be a motivational speaker, really, at this point. And the people who love you and want you in the, their lives, they will bet on you. They will bet on you. Okay, so finally done. Got the lashes on. I'm only going to put on my lipstick just before I leave, like five minutes before I leave. So I've still got about 40 minutes to go. Um, and I want to drink some water and do all those things. The event starts at 6 and it ends at 10. Really looking forward to it. There's going to be a bunch of people there. So this is the poncho I'm speaking about. So as you can see, it's got a hoodie, right? And then it just opens all the way across. It's so stunning. Sure, it's so stunning. I can't get over it. And then it just opens all the way across like that. So because I don't want it to make me look wide, too wide, <laughs> I am going to belt it up with a belt on top. Uh, I'm going to change into my bodycon now. You've seen me in that bodycon so many times, so I don't need to show you anything. I'm going to put my lips on, put a little bit of perfume on, smell good. I'm really excited to be out today. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, I really, I really am excited to be out today. I'm in my bedroom and I haven't opened my shutters all day, but, uh, I'm excited to be out today, but I just, I want to enjoy it. I really just want to enjoy it. It's going to be a different kind of going out for me this time around because the other times that I've gone out, I've gone out, I've had fun, I've enjoyed, um, but there was always something at the back of my mind, but now I feel like I've made so many decisions and so many promises to myself yesterday, um, made peace with so many things that it's just today, um, anything goes, we're having fun, okay? There is the fit, love it. Tied it over with a belt and then looped it over. I just needed my waist to come through. And then when you're a big booty girl, this will happen. The front will be longer than the back. But to be honest, I don't care. I will adjust it when I get there. And the best part is this part right here. This is the best part right here. The poncho sad. Gonna walk in like that. And then when we eat, I will lower it. So pretty cool, right? Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's one of the best things that that guy did. For real, real. Ah, uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later, okay? Reset.